Hello there, I am Pinstar, and this is Banished Strategy and Tactics Episode 14. And as soon as we finish loading here, here we go. So in our last episode, we suffered a, a, a slight unfortunate incident. We have ourselves an infestation. Now, I did not tra track down exactly what the source of the infestation is, so let's take a look at our... Uh, our fields here see what exactly is got the blight going on here hopefully it is not the sheep well, actually let's start the simulation and look for the yellow clouds here all right does not appear to be the sheep Oop, i think i see some yellow here No, that's not. That's just the ground. Well, what has developed an infestation? Now well, we're going to... Aha! I believe it is this walnut orchard. I could be mistaken, though. It's kind of difficult to tell, but it appears to be this walnut orchard. So as soon as you guys grab this, uh, grab this stuff down here, we're going to cut this uh, orchard down, maybe plant... Uh, actually, I think I'm going to throw down my peaches, since we had some peach seeds. But notice how the infestation has not spread because, notice, well, we got these two walnuts next to each other. So it might spread over to this one. But here we have cherry, cherry, walnut, cherry, walnut. So, yeah. It's inevitable that uh, this might be spreading over to this one pretty soon. In fact, it may have already done so. Alright, we're cutting you guys off. Right, still plenty of builders, still plenty of population going here. Since with our glut of laborers here, we should be able to get these fields cleared off pretty quickly. All right, so in terms of the infestation, yeah, we're going to want to clear out this land as quickly as possible. And we need to flip them over to, a new, to another crop here. That will end the infestation and allow us to repurpose these fields for something else without completely losing them. And as far as I can tell, infestations do not cross-pollinate, meaning... See, yep. Yeah. All right, so it was actually only on this one field. It didn't officially spread to this one, because as soon as we chopped the last tree down here, the yellow blight went away. Uh, now, just to keep things a little bit thing, and also add to our food diversity, we're going to replant this field as peaches. Um, and this field needed replanting anyway. So it's not the worst thing in the world to happen. Um, I would have been a lot more upset about a sheep blight than I would have been um, a walnut blight. But, you know, that, that's, that's why you keep uh, crop diversification. You don't want a whole line of all the same crops because then you can get some chain infestations. And that's not good. Okay, so now that we have ourselves uh, uh, a healthy supply of workers uh, once again, I think it is time for us to make a push. Uh, a real solid push to... Uh, to get this whole area built up. So what I'm actually going to do here um, is I'm going to actually cut all of these. Uh, actually, we'll keep the we'll keep the foresters in place here, but we're going to cut all of the food gathering uh, professions in half. Well, except for the herdsmen and the farmers; those need to keep up. Uh, so mostly just the fishermen and the uh, gatherers and the hunters. Uh, and now with that glut of people, we're just going to unpause all of these. 
and just get this whole hub set up in one big push. We'll put them back once we're done here, but since we have such a huge glut of, uh, of food supply here, and I mean really our, our storage boards are bursting at the seams, we it's in our best interest just to use our people, pull them off of making all that food, and actually get them started working on this. Because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's not too much else. And actually, while we're at it, just to uh, help clear this area. There we go. Got an old age death here. And yeah, basically we're just going to get all the stone here. There we go. That should keep all those uh, idle laborers busy. Should have a nice uh, flurry of activity going here. Let's see here. Just realized my clock is not up. There it goes. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So with our uh, people going here double time, I mean, yeah, our food's starting to go down a little bit, but that's kind of what we want. We need to uh, we need to actually eat some of the food that we've been mass gathering here. Yep, reserve of stone is low, that's fine, but that's also why I told everyone to start gathering. And yeah, this should uh, this should actually go pretty quickly. And I think I'm going to keep these people at those those spread out job levels at least until uh, until we get. Oh, all right, we got ourselves a boat. Man, the tower looks so different uh, from a different angle here. Let's see what you have for us. You have chickens. Um, no, no, I got plenty of chickens. Thanks anyway, though. Off you go. And you've got that going, so you've got plenty of purchasing power. Yeah, we are. Wow, we are scraping the uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel with firewood here. Interesting, because we certainly have enough. Uh, well, we're going to be building another woodcutter here pretty soon. So that should help get our. Oop, and get someone squished by another rock. I blame drinking on the job. Still, uh, still a healthy supply of people. Yeah, we got all builders here. That's fine. The in game sound a little. All right. All right. Yeah, we're going to, once we finish this other thing, we'll uh, start converting the rest of our uh, wooden houses that I've been kind of putting, been putting off uh, into stone houses. Oh, all right. And another, uh, another wood cutter. Go right here. Perfect. Yeah, we're even using up all of our uh, stored logs here. So that should keep our... Uh, get our woodworkers going here, which is why I kept the foresters at max, because we, uh, while, while we are bursting at the seams with food, we, uh, we could always use more, uh, uh, oop, and farmer, we could always use more, uh, resources. All right. And yeah, we just need a, a resource merchant here, honestly speaking. All right, more kids getting born with all these houses being built. Might as well max out our builders here. Got another boat coming. Yep, you're going to the other dock. How are our pastures? Max, max, and not quite max. It takes a while for cows to get up to max. Uh, ooh, steel tools. All right, hey, why not? I'll buy some steel tools. 33 of them. And since we, firewood's at a premium and I don't want to uh, drain that resource anymore, we will purchase it with booze. 
Dividing by 84 units. Let's see, 50? Uh, sure. And yet we still have our orders going here. So off you go. That should pull in some more from our uh, ale merchants. Which we have, we've got one going for berries, one for cherries. And it'll take us a while for our peaches to get up and running before we start pulling uh, peach ale. Which is fine. I think we've got plenty of hooch. Ooh, and more traders. Coal. Ooh, okay. We've got the iron. Uh, sure. And you guys are willing to let me pay for it with mushrooms? That works for me. 600 coal. Whew. Okay, well, let's... Uh, one, four, four, five. And let's do a thousand of our venison. Okay. Perfect. And trade. And you... I uh, need to have some stuff ordered for Mio, since you can bring coal. Let's see, uh, more coal is always welcome. Iron's welcome. Uh, da, 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 da. Steel tools, stone. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you don't need to uh, bring coal. Um, just iron, just steel tools, stone, and iron. But I'll buy the coal that you brought this time, certainly. And I set that to, yep, every visit. Off you go. And now time to set you. Oh, the blacksmith is set to. Which means, since I just imported a whole ton of coal, might as well uh, have my mine here working on, uh, working on iron instead of coal since we have a glut of that. Oop. All right, what are you people doing? All right, so that will pretty much set us for life. Well, I wouldn't say life. Never, uh, never uh, uh, overestimate your ability, your your people's ability to break their own tools here. Um, that should set us for quite a while for our steel tools. Um, that's not to say I won't continue to buy them because they are very, very handy in that regard. And yeah, our uh, oh, our firewoods uh, finally uh, catching up. You know what? I think I might uh, set our fuel limit to fourteen hundred now that we uh, now that we're uh, making use of it a little bit more aggressively. That way we can. Uh, oop. Right. And you are out of. We are out of leather. We've hit a new bottleneck. We have exceeded our ability to produce leather. Our wool production, rather, has exceeded our ability to produce leather. Interesting. Okay. Well, see, now this is where I wanted to stop the uh, hide coat making as soon as possible, because, uh, yeah, it uh, eventually the leather's going to catch up. Or the wool, the, the wool's going to catch up to the leather. And stone is, once again, our bottleneck. But we uh, we still have all these gather orders here. And uh, where are our miners? Here's our miners. Let's get more than just one person working in that mine. Yeah, it's going to take them a while to har harvest all this stuff. But, uh, oop, we just had, uh, we had our little blip of hunger pangs. But it's not from lack of food, so we must have had a death march around here somewhere. And that's um, that brings me to sort of a late game problem, is the uh, March of Death, which I will get into in our next episode a little bit more, especially if I can catch those hunger uh, people. Uh, luckily that didn't pop up uh, for very long, so it uh, it's likely didn't uh, kill anybody. So, oh, we know it didn't kill anyone, but it uh, probably didn't do too much damage. Uh, to their health, 
but it's still something to be aware of now that we now that we've uh, uh, reached our, our current uh, size here we've uh, what are you guys doing no 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 limits no limits you keep you keep using that stuff nope what do we have here sheep eh, as much as i like sheep and i do like me some sheep uh, we are full up on them at the moment, so off you go. Nice gesture, though. Okay, so in our next episode, I think I uh, we're going to be finishing up the last of this forest node here, and uh, we, we're only we're still only down uh, two thousand food compared to what we're uh, what we were do pulling before. Actually, let me take a look at before I uh, cut this episode short here is yeah, still no, no nomads. I'm waiting to get our first burst of nomads here because there's some strategy uh, in terms of utilizing them. Um, let's take a look at our production here. Food is... All right, so we are using more food than we are producing currently, but that's because we are way understaffing our food facilities. I'm just trying to, to eat up through some of our uh, some of our excess here. Once that uh, once that goes out, then I'll uh, once that gets starts getting lower, maybe down around the twenty thousand mark, I'll uh, start repopulating uh, people on food. But in the meantime, they're more useful uh, for stone. Uh, and actually, yeah, let me uh, well let me let them finish building and whatnot, and then I'll start putting people back on stone. Because um, actually, you know, let's uh, let me just do one last tweak here. That would be to put our miners into stone cutting, because that is our current bottleneck. Okay, well, I think I'm going to cut it here. So always remember, if you uh, liked uh, like this episode, want uh, want to see more videos like it, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. Uh, your feedback is always welcome, um, and also follow me on Twitter at at Pinstar. So until next time, this is Pinstar signing out. Have a good one.